everybody the break for today is to mount a tv on a corner of my uh, bedroom so i decided to record the video to also let everybody know the way i do it i know that there is a bunch of videos how to mount a tv but i was trying to show you the way i do in this case you have to buy the proper uh, mount i bought a set to 37 inches to 70 inches TV the brand is owned and they sell it at Walmart it's not uh, pretty bad I mean it's well built I used it before and the price for this one is $50 that is more expensive than that but we're gonna give it a try at the same time so I don't have a complaint on this brand I use it a lot so we're gonna move to our house and now this is the TV where we're gonna work on and that is the corner where we're gonna put it the idea here is try to mount it the easiest way as possible but remember we have two sides so we're gonna need the tv mount of course and a lot of tools in this case i broke the, my two bags of full, uh, tools as you can see i have a lot of tools because i work as a handyman also so i got my knife over here i'm looking right now for the stud finder which is a magnet that i had that's in my opinion one of the best but we're gonna have to use something else there instead uh, unfortunately i think i lost it i need to stop losing my tools otherwise there's not gonna be profit on my words so and yes that's my sofa cover with a salvador towel um because i am from El salvador for those that didn't know so now you can know it so this is the TV mode. So we're gonna try one more time to open this and then we're gonna open it with this blade and see what is in the box. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna cut the tape they used to secure the box. Um, of course, I didn't have to make it this long, I just wanted to show you what is inside the box and everything, how it comes together. Of course, so for the price, it's not bad. Um, it has a professional packaging, and, and you know what? This brand, I guess, is from Walmart, the own brand. I've been using it for a little while. In my personal opinion, this brand, it is, um, it has okay quality. Guys, okay, so uh, many different things. So as we can see right here, um, we have a manual for instructions give you some idea how to do this stuff apparently you can use the, the mode in both ways uh, so it show you the studs and how far they are it tells you that you need to have a stud finder it tells you where to not to use a drill and many different stuff you know um, see this part is when you have your TV that's the brackets that gonna go on the TV that's the bracket that's gonna be on the wall so it all works together so you can scan with your phone if you need the video references and I'm not gonna do this I've been doing this for, for, for a little while it's not the first time I'm on the TV on the wall so as you can see I have enough uh, you know so separators and uh, bolts for the TV that's a nice day very generous so as you can see washers and spacers for uh, the TV see right here and also you have three max of uh, goodies right here anchors for the wall you can do it in drywall or in the bolts and you can do it on the store so in my case i'm gonna have to use a few of these um a few of these uh, anchors because for some reason the the way they build in this building apartment building is always complicated to find the stud for some reason and my, in the times that I've been putting uh, a lot of TV mounts, that's been a problem to me because every time I go to an apartment to mount the TV, it is always difficult to find the stud, either because they have metal or a mix of metal with um, the wood, I don't know. Uh, sometimes it's more difficult to get with this magnetic uh, stud finder. And, uh, you know, for some reason, I, this is not the first TV that I am on my, my mode on my apartment, but as you can see right here, um, this one 
pretty nice quality. Changing the public one. Uh, you saw it has two sides. Uh, you have to make sure if you're gonna mount it on the corner, it says corner TV mount. Otherwise, you won't be able to you know, install it flat. So we gotta look for the holes on the TV or this clean line. So mount it. With this TV, I find that they are a bit lazy. right now is try to find the uh, bolts that I'm going to put here that's why they send you a, a bag with a bunch of bolts that you can find a which one is which so I found the right one right here so I'm just placing it you just need a field screwdriver to make sure they are tight so in this case I don't need a spacer because the the bolt is not so long and fits exactly it's the exact fit so in case you have the right bolt that match and the bolt is longer that's why you saw the black spacers so right now I'm gonna remove the base I should do this um, before but it doesn't matter as long as you have a sofa where you can lay the TV or a bed or any safe place where you can lay your TV so we're gonna proceed to remove uh, this and after we do this we're gonna get ready to mount the other part of the bracket on the wall so as you can see I'm trying to record the process completely not cutting off too much because I wanna make you or give you an idea of the real time of what to do other TVs don't require to take too much screws from this uh, to take the base uh, are easier or other TVs it doesn't have a stand like this so it has um, two legs on the side or like the Roku TV or any other kind of TV like Heisen, Heisen and all those brands BCO sometimes they have two legs on the side so it has two screws holding each leg on each side many different things so I roll the cord and now I took the base, it's pretty easy, I once we take the screws, I just have to pull it off. And as you can see right here, so I'm gonna save this base, save the base and screws for later because you never know when you're gonna put it back again on, um, on the, you know, you, people always change their mind, you always change or find out that you want something different depending on what you want to do. It's always good to save stuff, so as you can see I have the TV ready right now. So what I'm doing right now is give you an idea. You have to decide where you want the top of the TV. Once you know where you want the top of the TV, you see the number 10 right there? That, uh, that space where it's going to be the top of the other bracket. So first you point um, where you want the top edge of the TV, you mark it on the wall. And then that way also you decide how high the other brackets gonna be. You see that 10? 10 inches down from the top of the TV. So right now I didn't find my magnetic stud finder, which is the best for the best results are stud body. You can get it on Amazon easy, it's only ten dollars. As you can see, uh, this one worked in a different way. The one I'm using right now works with a um, battery and I have this is the H finder, so I'm trying to find the edges of the stud to make sure uh, we do it properly. So I'm trying in pointing marking a lot, but this one I don't recommend you because it's kind of tricky. Sometimes it fails. 
and you know it's marking the H's right now means which of the center is the stud. So same thing in this other side. We already marked where the stud are or supposed to be. Um, uh, this is the one I'm using right now. It's, again, I don't recommend this one. You start to put the bolts. You drill a hole with your drill bit and then you try to pull the bolts and see how um, hard. So as you can see, I made my first mistake in the in the first place that it marked me, but it is not was not correct. That's what I was talking about. This kind of uh, stud finder is not accurate. That's why I don't recommend you this one, but I didn't have no choice this time. Uh, I supposed to be on stud on this one, but still, I just put those bolts to see how tight they're gonna hold. And I realized that they just hold tight, but it, they didn't uh, they didn't hold uh, properly. So I had to put anchors on the left side. And what I basically did here is put the left side first, try to level it, and then after that left side, I went until uh, I find the stud on the right. So as you can see right here, I installed it already. But my recommendation in this case is just anchors where you need to use the anchors. Make sure your anchors um, don't, I mean the drill bit where you used to open the hole on the drywall, it doesn't make it too uh, big because otherwise it won't it won't grab anything. So you have to be you have to hit the anchors with the hammer and lately uh, put the bolts. So I had to hold myself because it's kind of difficult to do it one person. If you have a helper, that's even better because they can hold it for you and you can mark uh, the points where you want it. As you can see, I'm making sure all the bolts are tied right now. So sorry if I didn't show you in the process, but I'm working with by myself right here. So, and this is the final result. My recommendation is just use one. This is my daughter saying hi to you guys. And that's the final result for the TV mount. Thank you for watching.